Hey, how it's going? I'm Jennifer and today I'll be making this video to guide you through on how to make a custom icon using Photoshop. It's pretty easy by the way, if you're like me searching Google on how to do it and don't find much about it, well here it is. It's also one of the reasons why I'm making this video, so let's start. First thing you wanna do is download a Photoshop plugin. I already have the download links in the description below so you, you won't have to search for it. This version only works on Windows by the way. Depending on what version of Photoshop you have installed, which I assume you already know, there's two options there which is the 32 and 64 bit version. So you go ahead and download that. And when you're done, the next thing you have to do is locate the file which you have just downloaded and then copy it and then paste it on your Adobe Photoshop installation folder. In my version, because it's 64 bit, I'd find it in this PC local desk. I named mine OS, but it's just the same. And then go to program files, Adobe, and then find the Photoshop folder. And inside it, find the plugins folder. Inside the plugins folder, you should see another folder called file formats and paste it inside that folder. If you don't find it, you may create the folder yourself. Just make sure you don't spell it wrong though. And then voila, you're done. Well, half of the technical part. So now the next thing you wanna do is obviously, you open your Photoshop and start creating your custom icon. Here I have already made my own design using Illustrator, but I think you can use any image file like JPG or PNG. And once you have already decided on your custom design, you're going to save it as and because you have just installed that plugin, now you'll have it on the drop down options to be able to save it as the .ico. As you can see, here it is, which is the icon file format. One thing you have to make sure though, you have to set your image size and make sure it won't go beyond 256 by 256 pixels. Or otherwise that ICO option won't show up on the drop down option. Here let's make a sample. I'll set the zoom in size into 300 by 300 pixels, save it as, and then as you can see, the that ICO option doesn't appear. So let's change the image size again back into 256 by 256 pixels, save it as again. And now in the drop down option, as you can see now, the that ICO option appears. Then you go ahead and save it. And that's pretty much all of it guys, pretty easy right? Thanks for watching my video and if you like it, please spare some time to smash that like button and subscribe for more. Bye!